Hey everyone out there, welcome back to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Today I want to talk to you guys, you homeowners more specifically, about a solar carport or a solar canopy. Depending on where you are in the country, things have different names, right? So, if you haven't thought about this, there are a uh, just a whole mess of different types of options. There are pre-manufactured kits, there are companies out there doing self-first DIYers that are building their own. It's nice that there is kind of like the Wild West. It's just, it's just really open to interpretation because there's no right, wrong way to do this. I take that back. There actually is a wrong way to do this. Don't pull a building permit and just build it. You should absolutely, because it's a structural piece, I want to put that in there, that you should probably meet with your, your local building official and review uh, your intentions with this, whether it be for uh, where it is in the property or the structural integrity. You want to make sure if you have snow loads and whatnot, that is all calculated. But back to the fun stuff. There are companies out there like SunPower that do large commercial ones. It's, uh, it's pre-engineered. They will even come and install it for you if you, have, if you own a business or something. That's another episode for another day. Today, though, we're going to talk strictly about residential units. So as I alluded to earlier, there are quite a few people, and if you go on Google Images, that are just taking the matters in their own hands and building their own. Some of these are quite artistic. They look really, really nice. And uh, some of them... Um, not so much, I'll just leave it at that. However, the point is you can use almost any solar panel for these. Even the pre-manufactured ones, you'll see that they come out with a, uh, the two sides, really. It's a 60 cell solar panel or a 72 cell. 72s are usually more of a, of a, um, a commercial application. They tend to have more of a silver frame around it, the white back sheet. However, there are companies out there right now that are making all black, so it's far more aesthetically pleasing, much more of a sleek look, 72 cell. Now, obviously, space depending how many cars you want to cover or whatnot, um, some of these pre-manufactured kits, they actually have little gaps between, so it's not a true covering. Um, you will get some water, some precipitation, snow, whatever, through uh, the top, as well as the sides, obviously, because most of these don't, aren't, um, aren't fully enclosed. They don't have uh, any side enclosures on them. However, that's where, you know, if you're a handy person, this might be able to be, uh, this might be a, a good thing for you, whereas you can do a DIY kit uh, a, or a pre-manufactured kit or, or just build your own. And then take the initiative to actually put essentially a roof underneath it like an actual shingled roof or whatnot, and then the solar panels on that, just as you would on a regular roof, only it's an elevated structure. It now is actually a, uh, a watertight, from the top side anyway, uh, way to do this. Um, this is something that we as a company, we do for people um, with obvious different, uh, different sides of the fence. Some people love them, some people don't like the way they look, some people think it's just better to go with a traditional garage, again, when you're looking at your area of the country, the climate and your needs, and of course your budget, these are all things you wanna take in consideration because this can be substantially cheaper than a common two or three car garage, just doing a carport. But if you don't like the look, then perhaps the garage route is for you. Either way, something to consider, spend a little bit of time on Google or Bing images, looking up carports, you will see a lot of them on there. Ironically, you wouldn't think so because you don't see that many driving around or going around the country, but there are quite a few there to get your ideas from and, um, and how you want to actually do this. So something I wanted to just jump in because it's not talked about enough on YouTube or social media very much at all uh, is carports. So if, if you're in need of covering your automobile, you have a, a nicer vehicle or you just don't want to brush off the snow, Something to consider and, and, um, and really look into cost effective wise is uh, maybe Pyre EV that's parked underneath your solar canopy, right? So take a look at them and uh, show us some pictures. Drop some comments and some pictures below uh, in a comment section of uh, ones that you've done, seen or have or, or are thinking about doing. And now uh, we'd love to share that with you. So. And with that being said, I'd like to take this time to thank you all for watching and joining us for another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.